says, I'm trying to create a bookings calendar that is then displayed on SharePoint as a web part. I have a shared page that I want to use as a boardroom scheduler that invited multiple attendees. I, I'm getting stuck at how to use the web part to choose multiple people for a service offering. Is that possible? I know that in the service setup, I can add staff, but on the web part, it only allows me to select one staff member from the dropdown. Not sure if this is important, but located in Australia, um, I, uh, so the person that's located in Australia, I know some of the offerings are different here. Well, there's definitely things that are different there. That's, I don't think that's one of them. When you set up the service, one of the settings is, can you allow that person to pick who they want to select for that service? So there, there's a setting in that, that service in the booking calendar. That allows Does it allow do multiple people selection though? That, I think that that's part of the, the problem. Oh, oh so how, yes. How the one part only allows me to only... select one staff member. Yeah, because yeah. it's it's kind of I always when people I try to explain booking some, it's kind of like having the hair salon, you know, or the beauty salon, whatever. You set up your service of like who does nails, who does hair, who shaves, who does beards, who does man's hair, women's hair, whatever, right? And then you know, a lot of those beauticians that they can offer multiple services. So, uh, no, no, no. The only person that touches my hair is Kathy. You know, that kind of person. You know, you can pick who you want or anybody that's open. So, I don't know uh, how to create, you know, multiple people. Anybody? That's not my question. I guess, I guess that's my well, question. I'm trying to, to figure out when I read this, I'm trying to figure out why they're using bookings for this use case to begin with, because it says that. They're trying to use it as a boardroom scheduler for multiple attendees. And so, I mean, my answer would be is if you're doing boardroom scheduling, I would be using Exchange. I would use Outlook and resources and set up the rooms or the locations or the people because, because then you can do exactly do. what you're trying to do. Yeah, exactly. Yes, They're using the wrong tool for the, for the job. I yeah. think a lot of people are like, oh, I want to use bookings for this. So unless you're scheduling outside of your organization, you know, because everybody internal mm -hmm. can see those boardroom resources and use and the you scheduling can create resources assistant for that. and make them whatever you want them to be. They can be, um, I mean, we used to do, you know, projectors or notebooks or laptops. Like you can make a resource anything. So, right. so yeah. then to be able to sh to display that within SharePoint. Yeah. So that takes either if they want to use bookings, everything has a web address. So you have to enable the HTML capability well, we, to put an iframe bookings won't work for this so if they use the exchange and use it because you could have look at the calendar for that resource yep and 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 do that you know you can display the that resource calendar within sharepoint correct yeah correct. yeah because everything has a url and you can just add that to mm -hmm. a page or a link to it if you don't want to display it on the page, you could create a link to it. Or if, or they... if you want to get really fancy, you can use a graph call with SPFX and build a custom. You could actually build a custom thing, either in Power App or you using SPFX. You could build a custom window to basically be able to pull that information through and be able to see it in a really snazzy way. Yeah, because you can do that. I don't he know doesn't do say that. anything about <laughs> snazzy. I don't. I'm rereading. No. Doesn't no, look like. there's. I didn't see snazzy no, either. Snazzy. Everyone loves snazzy. <laughs> oh, no, of course. I mine went or to the indeed. Power App too, and you could even display that in Teams should you choose. Yes, that's my favorite. I know. Is using the Power App is that like the? Yeah, that's that's a great example because then you could have it in multiple locations. Yeah. Um, is Power Apps is the next question? Part B to this is Power Apps the bedazzling of the Microsoft 365 <laughs> collaboration. I mean, it can be. The, the visual I just got of uh, the bedazzled no, 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 no. screen. I mean, we have options. I, I can't. I don't know. This. I don't know. I've seen some pretty fancy stuff come out of SPFX that I don't know that Power Apps can hand. I don't know that Power Apps can compete with that. I mean, I think it can, but I think you could do more fancy thing with SPFX right now. I think Power Apps is a close second, and I think the Teams Toolkit stuff um, is is coming in pretty hot and fast behind it too. Question, Sharon, from a mobility perspective, still SPFX, or would the app start to nudge that out? I think when you start talking about responsive design, um, then you start, I would say, 
power apps or the team's toolkit stuff would probably win over SPFX. Not to say that it's bad, but like if you try to do a real fancy oh. SPFX custom web part, you might have to work a little harder to get a really good responsive design, whereas Power Apps out of the box is going to have a better responsive de design built in. That Another reason why to know your requirements, if the majority of people, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I would say in, in my you know company, people are not doing a lot of activities in SharePoint on their mobile device it's going to be on the desktop Sorry. so so that would be something where how are people going to be accessing and using yep. this and also consider that in your decision of which tool Gosh. to build it on but i want to build it in sharepoint and make them use it christian yeah <laughs> well of course especially, I mean, especially yeah. if it's clunky and Rules. awkward because that's going to make them love it right uh-huh uh -huh. with but, high def graphics it takes a long time to render <laughs> <laughs> or Pete, and a yes, simple CSS. looking question. And look what we've done. We've taken yeah. them around the world of apps. But <laughs> they said it's yeah. it's all about use case and Sherry, you said it using the right right tool for the right job. So this Absolutely. one would probably be awesome. Do we all agree that bookings is the wrong tool? Yeah. Yes. If they're doing it, if they're all their audience, always like who needs to do what when, right? If it's if it's all internal people, then why aren't you using the scheduling assistant that's built right into Outlook and Exchange. It makes more sense. But then again, maybe Bookies is the right solution in Australia. Yeah. But it's be. but it's shiny. It's pretty. Yeah. Is it though? <laughs> I think Pete is the exact yes, same I thing. Know that. I don't think there are differences. And that that's why people tend to want to go off and uh, do um Frequency coordination databases. That's that's areas where you've got whole bunches of different kind of radios, whether it being news types or ambulance and police types and so on and so forth. And because they all have to have some place to talk and other places to listen, you pick this big database, right? And you do it in something like Excel or SQL or something that's a database. And mm -hmm. and Unfortunately, they will leave a little bit too much leeway with the people that are going to wind up using it. So they do things like they change field names or field types. Right. Mm -hmm. they and still then they come back. It it's they break, broke. They break the solution. Right. Yeah. 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 And, and then it becomes and, difficult and, and or impossible. Now, what that has wound up in is that is now all in Excel. Okay. Yeah. Excel can do that, but Excel is not a database manager. It just yeah. isn't. Yeah. Access. Access. And all that's, the way. It's <gasps> Oh, Mike. Well, I would say that you know SharePoint's not a database, and, eh, and what, yeah, it is. Well, it is. You, it yeah, is. that Excel is not is. a database. It is not. It's not a good well, one. Baby. Right. Well, that's right. Yeah. No one said we're good. There's no qualification. Nope. Uh, so so I, I'm hoping it's frozen tables. It gets, it gets, it gets <laughs> pulled back out of Excel into some sort of a, a real relational database. Once yeah. people learn how to use Dataverse, like just, like just. Push Dataverse, it's so great. Yeah. 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 So, Mr. Buckley, um, I have to say it's uh, I, I realize it's been a while since I've been on your uh, very illustrious show here, um, but uh, it's you must have changed something because now we have the actual presenters, the experts raising their hands to the question. I saw Joey no, raise her hand. I don't think I've no, ever no. seen that on this show in the last no. four years that we've been doing that. No, I, but she raised her hand. She, I thought that was awesome. But it's 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 weird. <laughs> It's just weird. I'm not used to it, so I'm still adjusting. So. Well, just, don't do just don't do the horseshack. Just don't do that horseshack thing of ooh ooh ooh. Uh, ooh were you ooh, that ooh, kid ooh. in school? Mr. Cutter. Mr. Cutter. Uh, uh, no, it's just hold, hold like, I want to talk, but I don't want to overwrite somebody. So it's like, look at me. <laughs> There almost needs to be a setting uh, in teams. So you have to raise the hand, but there needs to be like a, I don't know, like a turbo button. If I keep clicking it, where it has another. <laughs> no, they got the hand that comes up the screen. What do they It'll call those things the that go up the screen? You know, when you higher have the, and the, higher and higher. Well, no, you have the, you have the hearts and the emojis that go up the screen, the reactions. 
Yeah. So we need a yeah. raised hand reaction that just keeps <laughs> just going just up. It gets the bigger the longer it's raised. <laughs> Look at me. 